Hello grade 8 and welcome to this week weekly breakdown. So, so far we have started unit 4 which is talking about the solar system and we, dis we discussed objects in the solar system such as stars, planets, comets, meteors, constellations and we talked about the models of the solar system moving to the Earth's movement in space, such as revolution, rotation, how it affects the day length, how it affects seasonal change. And we finished everything regarding Earth as a planet in space. Now we are moving to another object that can be found in the solar system, which is the moon. We are going to talk about the phases of the moon, the shapes of the moon, tides regarding the moon. Starting off with this lesson, we are going to be talking about the shapes of the moon. So we have four shapes, full moon, new moon, crescent, and gibbous. The following shapes, we will analyze them. We will talk about the two shades, black and white, the light and the dark shapes of the moon. We will be also talking about how does the moon appear to change the shape. So apparently, from our perspective, we can see that the moon changes shape, but it actually depends on how the moon orbits the Earth. So how the moon orbits the Earth makes it appear like it's changing its shape. Also, once we go in, to talk more about the moon phases, there are two terms that we are supposed to be aware of, waxing and waning. Waning means that we can see less of the moon, while waxing means we can see more of the moon. As for the phases of the moon, there are eight phase phases that we're supposed to know and each phase depends on the shape of the moon and the two terms that we talked about, waning and waxing. So we will analyze and interpret the following terminology and the shapes so we can understand how the moon goes through phases, which are eight, depending on its position and how it orbits the Earth. And as usual, we will use interactive activities and we will assess ourselves by online quizzes if you need anything eighth grade you can always come up to me and ask me any questions thank you so much